Hi, my name's Eli. I'm a film student, and I also love technology, which is why when my roommate Jacob told me about a new software that utilizes OpenAI's GPT-3 to help creative writers, I was really interested. We got a premium account and started messing around with what it was capable of. I also love to bake, which is why you're in an oven right now. That led me to try to get the software to write a real recipe. I started by aiming high with the greatest recipe ever, but it didn't turn out so good, just a lot of rabbit and no real recipe. I tried just cookies next, and while it gave me a half decent list of ingredients, including torches, it also wasn't a real recipe that I could follow instructions for. So I tried one more time, being a little more specific, and it spat out a nice little addition at the beginning, then a formulated list of ingredients followed by directions. One more section of writing brought me almost to the end of a real recipe, and a final click tidied everything up and there it was. A complete recipe for chocolate chip cookies from artificial intelligence. But is it any good? I started by getting all the dry ingredients out. Like most cookie recipes do, it was actually able to discern wet ingredients from dry and have me start by mixing together all the dry ones. One cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Next, it wants me to cream together the wet ingredients, so I'll use a stand mixer. Throw in half a cup of butter, one cup of granulated sugar, not to be outdone by half a cup of brown sugar. It didn't specify, so I went with dark, and can't forget the two eggs. Let those mix together a bit. Oops, almost forgot the teaspoon of vanilla. After that's all mixed, we can remove it and add in the dry ingredients. Mix them together a bit and then add a whopping two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Put the dough in a plastic bag and refrigerate for at least an hour before baking. Hey Siri, set a timer for one hour. After the hour is up, take the cookies out of the refrigerator and let them sit for about 10 minutes. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll scoop this very liquidy dough. I'm giving them a lot of room because I think they'll spread a lot in the oven. The recipe says to bake for seven to nine minutes. After a few minutes, this is what they look like. Pretty thin spread as I had thought. After nine minutes, it's time to take them out, let them cool, and give them a try. You know? They're very thin. They're very thin. A little leathery. Yeah. <laughs> but they're not bad. I mean, it's hard to go bad with a bunch of sugar and chocolate chips. The chocolate chips do make up for it. It's like a little chocolate ball. with. It's like a, like a gum type. Yeah, I mean... Texture. If you took them and kind of ball them up like this. <laughs> it's good as a ball. They're not so bad. Thanks so much for watching. Should you have any feedback on how this works and or more ideas for future prompts, please let me know. I'm a student, so I'm happy to fit in when time permits. Don't forget to like, favorite, and or subscribe. It helps a lot.